checking with Jay right now, who's got a very special guest. We're talking yeah. cycling this morning. Yeah, thanks, Lynn. BC Super Week gets going next week. Tour de Delta gets things started on Friday. Christian Meyer in town to race. Just completed the Giro d'Italia. Had a 15th finish on day 11. You finished second at the Canadian Time Trials behind uh, fellow Canadian uh, Swain Tup. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me. Um, are you tired? I am tired, actually. I haven't, I've had a bit of a, an easy week this week, just recovering a bit. And now it's, I mean, you've got to get it going again for Super Week and, and, and start back at it. Hey, do you guys ever really get any downtime? I mean, I, I look at what you did at, at Giro d'Italia, and, and I want you to tell me about what that was like, but then you race the Canadian Time Trials, and then you have, you know, BC Super Week coming up. It's got to be just hell on your body. Yeah, it's, we, we try to schedule a few sort of rest periods throughout the year, and normally at the end of the year we sort of have a three-week chunk where we, we don't really touch the bike and, and sort of go on vacation and do that sort of thing. But then it's pretty quickly back on the bike, and we're training all winter. And, you know, we race, and then usually after a race like the Giro, I had about a week off. But still, that's it's not a huge amount, you know, and we couldn't take much more time because we quickly came back and had Tour de Beauce and, and uh, the national championships. And now I take another little time off, and... Uh, then Super Week, and then it's just straight back to Europe for the rest of the year. Now, I know you rode with Ryder Hegedal years ago. You are on the same team, I think, back in 2006. Oh, oh, what was it like to see what he did at the Giro d'Italia um, as one of, I think, five Canadians who were riding on the Pro Tour? Mm. I mean, it was a spectacular ride. First rider, first Canadian ever to win a Grand Tour. And, I mean, for any rider to win a Grand Tour is, is, is huge. I mean, if you think about how many people do that, in total, I mean, you've had maybe 100 winners of the Tour de France. Yeah. That, that's, that's, that's huge. And to be Canadian and do it, and having ridden with, with Ryder in the past on the same team and, and that, and, you know, you see him as a Canadian, but you also see him as a former teammate, you know, it's, it's huge. And, I mean, he's, he's progressed through the years, and, you know, he, he's slowly progressed, and he's making, making a jump, and obviously now he's at the top. Yeah, how tough was it for him and how tough is it for you Canadians because there's only five guys out there. I mean, I'm thinking that when you guys are cycling, you get very little help even though you're on a team, you race within your team, but I don't think he got a lot of help and I don't think, you know, am I correct in that assumption? Oh, of course. I mean, you have your the objective, you know, the objective for every team is to win. Mm. You know, so you have at, at a Grand Tour, you're a team of nine, so you have your eight teammates that are helping you, but you don't have, you know, the other hundred and 88 guys are racing against you, you know, so it's, uh, he had his guys and, uh, you know, they, they did a fantastic job in doing that, but uh, it's, you know, you're not getting a free ride out there at all. How much are you looking forward to uh, BC Super Week? Uh, we were talking about it uh, earlier this morning, and I say it, it's without a doubt Canada's premier cycling event. Uh, yep. It starts with the Tour de Delta, but the word amongst pro cyclists, I mean, this is starting to be an event that world-class riders have been coming to for a while, but I think it's gaining even more stature. Oh, I agree. You know, we, we've sort of stepped it up, and there's a few more races this year. You know, some have come, and then, you know, the last couple of years, Gastown has dropped out, and I think this is the first Back, year yeah. where we have the whole, the whole series, the whole week, and the whole 10 days. And, I mean, it's huge racing, and Gastown, obviously, is a spectacular event. You know, it's, like I was saying, steeped in history and, and that. So to be able to come back, and it's where a lot of us started, both Swain and I, we come from super week back we were racing on symmetric so yep. to come back and and be racing those every year for us is, is special let's talk about the team that you're working uh, for uh, right now it's it's nice to see canadians being given a chance but i also think that canadian riders have really established themselves as world-class talent yeah i mean we're at the moment racing for orca green edge so it's an australian based team and you know it, it's a great team and i think the australian sort of personality is very similar to canadian yeah. so uh you like you know, to drink beer yeah <laughs> <laughs> we, we all get on really well, and I mean, it's at the moment, like you're saying, we have five riders racing at the world tour level in Europe, which is the most we've probably ever had at that level. So I think it just goes to show that, you know, slowly Canada's building a bit of a cycling reputation and, and the talent's coming through, and, and hopefully we can continue to build on that. Okay, uh, last minute, but I want to talk about something which is very near and dear to your heart. It's the Ride to Conquer Cancer. You're involved with the BC mm -hmm. Cancer Foundation, uh, near and dear to you because you lost your brother to brain cancer. Yeah, I lost my brother a few years ago, and uh, it was a very sad story. You know, he was very young when he passed away, and it was a very short and intense battle. You know, six months it was from diagnosis to, to passing away. So every year now since then, we've really tried to try to get in on something, and uh, this year we're doing something special. We're trying to we're trying to raise about $350,000 to uh, bring some new uh, brain tumor cancer to BC and to Canada for the first time. And, you know, we've had some, some great help, and I work with, closely with the BC Cancer mm -hmm. Foundation and Wedgwood Cycling Team and the Wedgwood Hotel, and we're really trying to make a big push to make this happen this year, and, 
and I really hope we can do it because it would be a huge success. It's amazing. Five minutes has just flown by. Can you promise to come back and, and join us again next year because it's a treat to have you in studio? 100%. Thank race, you very much. Race safe and, and race fast this week. Lynn, back to you. Of course, BC Super Week gets underway Friday in Delta, the Tour de Delta. Keep your eye on this guy. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Jay. Thanks for being here, Christian. Best of luck out on the road. And, uh, yeah, weather's going to be super important for the cyclists out there. Looks a little bit better for the second half of the work week. Uh, today, not